Hi guys, how is it going? Welcome back to my channel, Alina di USA. Di channel ini aku banyak membahas tentang segala sesuatu yang berhubungan. <laughs> Jika hal-hal yang mulai pop culture Benar, mulut lu yang salah anjing Gue selebgram siapa ya? Segala sesuatu yang kalian minati Maka channel ini cocok untuk kalian Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and like I highly appreciate it Thank you guys and enjoy the video Tahu kan, tiap hari ada aja hal-hal viral yang terjadi Karena orang-orang sekarang tuh kan dikit-dikit ambil kamera Terus ngerekam gitu kan Tapi ada kejadian-kejadian viral di Amerika Yang bikin aku tergelitik untuk meriak Karena seriously, kocak And hidup lagi capek-capeknya So, a good love is indeed in it, right? Hey, that's a rhyme Disclaimernya, satu, Amerika tuh gede banget guys Dan penuh dengan orang-orang multiras, multicolor Jadi kadang yang viral di TikTok atau di TV nggak semua orang tahu Nggak kayak di Indonesia yang penduduknya masih sentralistik Dan bahasanya masih kira-kira sama lah bahasa Indonesia Jadi semua orang bisa tahu satu sama lain gitu Misal kayak kopi sianida gitu kan Hampir semua orang tahu Nah, di Amerika tuh nggak kayak gitu kasusnya Terus yang kedua, video-video ini lewat di page ku Sebagian memang sudah ku tonton Tapi sekilas-kilas Dan ini yang akan ku react bareng sama kalian Sebagian ini fresh Baru pertama kali aku tonton bareng semua kalian Jadi semoga semuanya kocak dan menghibur Dan dah jangan banyak ngomong lah Ayo kita tonton bareng-bareng Kehebohan-kehebohan di Amerika yang terjadi belakangan ini Video yang pertama, yang ini sudah aku tonton Dan kocak menurutku <laughs> Karena kalian tahu kan Taylor Swift Sudah nemu pacar baru Seorang atlet football Amerika Dan Amerika saat ini lagi terbelah dua Antara Taylor Swift sama Travis Kelsey Karena umumnya cewek emang gak tahu siapa Travis Kelsey ya Dan kebalikannya cowok Amerika gak terlalu ngeh Karirnya si Taylor Swift So, this con Conversation alone become very funny. So let's see what they got. Hey, baby, did you see that Taylor Swift stating that football player? Um, his name's like Travis. Uh, nice house. Yeah, Travis Kelsey. Oh yeah, I saw that. Isn't that awesome? She's gonna be like helping him get his career going and like put him on the map. Huh? Nobody knew who he was <laughs> until she showed up at the game for him the other day, and now that's all anyone can talk about. Like she's really helping put him on the map. <laughs> What are you talking about? I think it's awesome that she's helping him so much. Oh my, no, Kelly, Ke stop, stop. What? His career is about to like explode now too, because he's about to get so much publicity too. Because his career didn't explode when he was winning Super Bowls before. <laughs> Did he win Super Bowls? Uh, oh, Kelly. Stop. Oh, Kelly. Stop. What? I didn't know his name until Taylor Swift was with him, so he's gonna have like a really good fan base now. Oh, Kelly! Oh, Kelly! Oh, don't say that! Don't say, say that. What? All of that! From the moment of walking until now. Don't ever repeat that again. <laughs> well, gue pikir semua tentara Amerika itu tipe-tipe kayak gitu ya, jadi very opinionated, terus apa ya, berapi-api gitu nonton ini kayak ngeliat, well, oh my husband juga bahkan percaya istrinya sebego itu cuma memang aku sendiri waktu denger si Taylor Swift sekarang dating si Travis Kelsey aku bingung, who the f*** is this guy? <laughs> but wajar karena aku memang orang Indonesia ya nggak tahu pemain football yang mana gitu kan cuma ternyata I'm not the only one so ya yeah. dan menurutku yang paling lucu adalah suaminya itu baru pulang kerja dan saking upsetnya dari pengen buka sepatu jadi mau berangkat kerja lagi kamu no, no. <laughs> lihat komen komen juga seru seru banget guys kalau kalian sama nggak sama aku sama-sama nggak -sama tahu siapa Travis Kelsey ini atau malah nggak tahu si Taylor Swift lagi dating siapa sekarang komen di bawah ya oke lanjut video yang berikutnya aku harap sama lucunya sama yang sekarang oke okay. oh big book oh dia nggak mau buka pintunya yes Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Okay. Are you recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. So? This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's wrong with that? This is a chain restaurant. Okay. Jadi, ini tentang cewek yang lagi kencan pertama kalinya. 
Terus habis itu di diajak makan ya sama cowok. Dan ternyata cowoknya ngajakin makan ke Cheesecake Factory. Itu sebuah restoran di sini yang ya bisa dibilang kayak pizza hut gitu kalau di Indonesia gitu. Dan dia dia kayaknya nggak mau keluar. Bentar bentar. Let me check again. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? Jadi dia naik mobilnya si cowok ini Terus cowoknya dengan sangat gentleman mau bukain pintunya Tapi dia malah ngunci dan nge-record si cowok ini Ngomong mah Ngomong mah Ngomong mah Oh yeah, I want to talk about it Come on, get up Oh, I'm tired I mean, you don't understand Look at me I cannot go in the cheesecake factory Kalian kalau diajak kencan pertama diajakin makan ke pizza hut akan bertingkah kayak gini nggak? Oh my god, dia bilang sangat membalukan. Sangat membalukan. Darawat anjing darawat. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I and maybe we're not right for each other. Oh. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna no, just drop you is. off. I don't know. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm off. So you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. is there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, huh? Ladies, can you believe this? Of course, I'm karena lu sombong banget. I don't feel respected. I am um, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest of the day. Yeah, good for you. Good for you, boy. I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah. I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean, I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that, that I could have been a bit more cooperative. Mm -hmm. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations. For a first date, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. So, oh she thinks so she's I, the main character. <laughs> yep, yep. Good for you. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. That was legitness. Yeah. What? I know, you're pretty. Ya, yeah, dia pretty. Emang cantik. Kalau anak saya emang benar-benar cantik. Badan juga bagus. <laughs> Kalau standar Amerika, dia cantik ya. Karena cantik itu kan gak mengenal kulit. But at the same time, percuma punya wajah cantik. Tapi kalau ugly inside, right? Jadi menurutku ini unacceptable. Come on, girls. Kalian juga harus bisa menghormati cowok yang ngajakin kalian kencan. Jemput kalian, bayarin buat kalian. Dan kalau ternyata memang kemampuannya hanya di semacam pizza hut, terima dengan baik gitu. Jangan terlalu ngerasa dirimu tuh apa ya princess gitu, yang harus makan di tempat gitu. kayak ratoria atau teras nayan gitu. Tetap hargai usahanya cowok itu. Jadi balikin kalau misalnya kalian jadi cowok, mau nggak sih diperlakukan kayak gitu sama cewek? Apalagi baru pertama ya kencan pertama. Kalau udah jadi suami istri, ngambek ngambek gitu, oke okay kali ya. Menurut kalian gimana komen di bawah? Oh, masih ada lanjutannya. Bentar, bentar. When you take out a beautiful woman. <laughs> And so, so, yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first day. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean. It's been, when you take out a beautiful woman. <laughs> And you're courting her. Because I, I get She's courted. She's the Lulu. So you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're I'm supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish. First of all, secantik apapun kalian, jangan mengaku diri kalian cantik di depan orang. Aku mau berak nih, kayak mana nih? Hahaha. Her treat her well, right? Yeah. As I do. I agree. I I went into this date as I expect. Uh, with the expectations for myself to keep you safe, you know, to respect you, 
uh, to pay for, for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a grandma, which I believe I have done. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah and, you've been pretty and nice, that's, but, I mean, and that's that's right. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations Sorry. for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. That's right. I expect her to be cooperative. Uh -huh. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. We're not again. I don't we're not know there. Yet. Okay. And then, but I mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I got mean, myself all made up. What's wrong with the cheesecake factory? Right. Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Look at, well, look at, I mean, look at my plan, where we were going to go, originally. See, now that's, that's where, that's where we should have went, Ari. Right okay. there. <laughs> see, oh, guys. No. What do you mean, now? See, I, I specifically I told you, both yesterday and this morning, that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m., at 4 p.m., right? Uh, and I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour oh my so I was God. waiting downstairs that's rude for an hour yeah. right? but I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long I got home a little late and like I said I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment and that is not possible okay if we're not there in the relationship to you know meet uh, at your apartment then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a nice fancy relate uh restaurant is aria especially if i'm paying for the whole thing ah. which i'm still willing to do i, mean, I would have been okay. but if we're late i mean i told I mean, you we twice <laughs> it wasn't that late I'm we literally I'm left on. your place at the time the reservation was supposed to be um, okay and i specifically <laughs> said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there So, kalau kalian ingin tahu, tapi aku akan kasih translatannya, ya. Jadi ini cewek, dia benar-benar pengen makan di restoran yang bagus dengan zero effort lah, bisa dibilang kayak gitu. Well, come on girls, don't be so entitled. Jangan terlalu sombong, kalian akan terlihat seperti princess jika kalian bertindak seperti princess. Artinya, sopan sama orang, menghargai effortnya orang lain, berterima kasih ketika ditraktir, balikin duit orang ketika minjem. Jangan main lari begitu aja, itu bersikap seperti princess. Don't get confused between princess and bitches. <laughs> Oke, okay, next, terakhir. Masih tentang perkencanan ya, let's see. Semoga kali ini lucu, bukan ngeselin, karena yang tadi tuh trigger banget, gue bete banget sama cewek-cewek gitu. Mungkin waktu masih muda, aku mah ada kayak gitu. Hmm? No, no. Like I'm polite girl. <laughs> nah, kalau kalian gimana? Apakah kalian menyetujui sikap cewek? Comment di bawah ya. Ya, so... <laughs> Today, I late with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texted me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content. Come on. I'm so good. <laughs> Enak sih, emang enak sih. Tapi yang enggak 12 juga gitu loh, Neng. Gila. Karena aku juga makan yang kayak gini ya. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm gonna eat, and I was coming anyway. But I ain't gonna lie. Now I want to do all that, but I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Did you hear that? It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that. It was so good. I'm like, baby, mm, what's next? What am I about to eat? These potatoes. 
Mm, they were so good. And the crab cake. Potato. Everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck ten, this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? The fuck? I'm like, hold the fuck on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes, bitch. What the fuck this nigga ate? Had to end up grabbing a tab, bitch. Nigga left me with his little one fucking drink. Yeah, bitch. I'm so glad, bitch. Keep me some money, cause what? See, that's so that was crazy to me. And I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He's talking about. I'm gonna offer you to drink. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> okay. Kenapa ya cewek-cewek sekarang tuh ya? Gak ada yang gak semuanya. Banyak banget yang baik. Cuma maksudnya, well, girls, kalau kalian, oh my god, I'm speechless. Memang oyster itu enak, cuma there are so many things wrong with oyster kalau kalian kencan gitu ya. Pertama, itu mentah. Dan ya, yeah, I cannot imagine if you want to kiss someone. <laughs> Dengan mulut yang sudah makan 12 piring oyster. Huh? Yang kira-kira tadi kalau kalian lihat sekitar 10 biji gitu. That's crazy. Kalau gue sih udah kepek-kepek kita muntah makan itu and it's not really polite ketika kalian diajak kencan dan kalian taking advantage or aji mumpung aji mumpung gara-gara tuh cowok mau bayarin gitu ya kalian pesen overboard hanya karena katanya si cewek tadi hanya karena dia nggak terlalu suka sama cowoknya jadi ya why not makan gratis nggak guys it's not a good manner jadi bayangin kalau kalian diajak ke KFC gitu pesen lima basketnya ayam terus kalian makan sendiri apa nggak gila nih itu cowoknya <laughs> dengan ngeliat kayak gitu ya common sense lah pakai common sense nya terus pakai mannernya segala macam well, semoga itu menarik atau menghibur buat kalian dan menurut kalian gimana sama nggak tingkat-tingkat keviralannya dengan yang di Indonesia ada nggak yang kayak gitu-gitu kira-kira di Indonesia let me know in the comment oke okay? apakah cewek cantik bisa berlaku seenaknya apakah Taylor Swift memang put Travis Kelsey in the map membuat Travis Kelsey yang menurut cowok-cowok penggemar football memang udah paling ngetop se-Amerika dan menurut kalian akan sampai ke pelaminan gak si Taylor sama Kelsey komen di bawah ya makasih guys sudah nonton sampai sini and I'll see you on my next video bye bye